My point of order will not stop these programs from being extended. What it will do is it will make sure that we have to pay for them by the end of the year. A novel idea that we actually pay for a program. So we look at programs that we have now, perhaps, and we cut other programs. Do we not think that there's some inefficiency in the administration of the federal government? We had a proposal that we tried to pass last year to require all the agencies of the federal government to cut 5%. Just 5% when they've had 5, 10, 15, and 20% increases year after year after year. Surely governing and leadership is about making decisions. I voted for the 30-day extension. I want to vote for this bill, but I want to pay for it. I want to make sure that we're not borrowing money from the children and grandchildren of Florida and America to pay for this bill. I want to make sure that we're not going to be paying interest to the Chinese to pay for this bill. I think it only makes perfectly, sen perfectly good sense that we require by the end of the year that we find money to pay for this. Every dollar we spend is a choice. It's a choice on what we should spend it on, and in this body and in this Congress, it's a choice, unfortunately, to put a burden upon our children and grandchildren because we spend much more than we have. So I am supportive of extending unemployment compensation. I am supportive of extending COBRA, which is health care. I am supported for, supportive of helping out the states with Medicaid payments. All I'm asking is let's pay for it. Surely there is some other programs duplicative in government, inefficiencies efficiencies that we can find to offset this payment. This is not a killer. This is just responsibility. I yield the floor.